Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on December 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a world update here with Morning Dew. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, always such an amazing thing to see. This is one of my most favorite parts, actually, of the video, being able to see this thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory, the last 48 hours on our sun. And no major sun events right now to talk about. Pretty quiet, to say the least. We do still have that incoming coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Just a bunch of plasma dancing around. The cresting limb. A little bit of fiery action coming there. And as well, in the outgoing position, we had a small CME shoot away. And that was just in the past few hours. But you can see it on the right-hand side there, that little whap of filament ejecting from the sun. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Also going to be watching this sunspot region. Well, bright region anyway. It could form into a sunspot over the next 24 hours. As well, right now, when we have an Earth-facing coronal hole, which we will be expecting within the next 12 to 24 hours we are expecting it third into fourth of december it seems to be diminishing now as it is outgoing solar x-ray flux remains low kp index was jacked up to almost five yes or five two days ago it was hovering around four as we're sitting at 476 kilometers per second with our wind speeds but it did go up to it maxed out here at 528 kilometers per second just in the last 24 hours. So we're going to watch that go down ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the ISWA space weather prediction spiral, you can see the small CME shooting out towards stereo B, the square blue icon. And we have that pink and red that is on its way. Looking at our Schumann residence for today, a power of five pretty quiet energy today i would say it was a great day to get out if you had the sunshine did get a little bit power of five 8.7 quality let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours which is kind of strange this is a strange map right now there's not many earthquakes in the southern hemisphere but a lot up here through alaska and russia 5.3 there a DAC. As well, 4.2 there in Atka, Alaska, 29 kilometer depth. And right up into Perryville, Alaska here, reported 3.8. Lots of earthquakes through Japan. As well, Kirovsk, Russia, 4.5 there. 5.2 in Goba, Japan, 9 kilometer depth. That's not Haines Junction. Uh, Atsuki, Japan. 4.5 and a 4.4 not very deep earthquakes not many deep earthquakes today either one lonely 4.5 to report here indonesia now no, most times through the philippines plate pacific plate there's a lot of action and it is made too quiet right over into the southern hemisphere the only other earthquake to report is a 4.8 there in colombia not much to report african plate and then we get to Afghanistan, the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 142 kilometer depth, as well Darband, Tajikistan, 4.3. So strange 24 hours for earthquakes indeed. Heads up, stay aware and prepared as we do have, I am expecting a large earthquake in the Pacific Plate, west ring of fire and through central to South America. Having a look at the last seven days, we've had two 6.0 and greater. That was a 6.5 in Japan. And then we had in uh, Solomon Islands, 6.3. And then our largest the last seven days, the 7.5 in Peru. Pretty deep earthquake as well. There hasn't been much since that large earthquake. It's kind of strange. Expecting something big here. Please, just everybody have a plan. Be ready. 
And we do have the volcanic activity report coming up this weekend, as, as well as our planetary positioning. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth. And as well, daily events worldwide. Looking at some cold weather definitely moving in across Canada. Strong cold high-pressure ridge moving in later in the week. Monday into Tuesday. Big nor'easter here coming through Ontario. And as well up into Quebec. Atlantic provinces looking at rain and snow. A lot of rain heading towards Newfoundland. A lot, as well as a lot of snow heading towards Greenland here as that system moves straight north into Greenland. And then we've got an Alberta clipper here that will be bringing about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow through southern Alberta. Cold temperatures behind that and then watch for that snow to move eastward. Ahead of it, there's going to be a lot of rain coming through southern and most of Ontario. But then watch for snow to be on the backside here as the temperatures drop down at least 5 degrees below zero. So big changes coming here. Big nor'easter here developing for most of the northeastern United States and Atlantic provinces. Colorado low developing here. Going to bring a lot of snow through higher elevations in uh, Pacific Northwest of United States. And then watch through uh, the BC coastline as well. Pretty tight system moving in this week. And look at these temperatures, minus 32, looking at minus 21 in parts of the United States, Wisconsin, Montana, four point, minus 4 through most of southern Ontario, overlooking the Atlantic, big high pressure ridge, drying things out across the ocean, but then roaring up with this big system still forecasted for Tuesday and Monday into Tuesday, that's going to be bringing a lot of strong winds and rain, high surf towards Ireland. And as well, a lot of moisture heading in this week from the same systems that was forecasting here the last few days. System after system are racing through Europe right now. And as well, we've got a low developing through Italy. And it's going to be heading over Greece Tuesday. Could have some pretty strong storms there, and as well, a lot of snow, higher elevations. Russia, we've got a big blizzard moving through most of the nation right now. Ahead of it, minus 34 in some areas, minus 50. And behind it, minus 30s. But that minus 50 is going to be swinging eastward towards Canada in the long range forecast. So 10 the 10-day forecast looks very, very cold as things are dramatically shifting into winter here as we are less than three weeks away. Big system here moving in through eastern parts of India up into Nepal Valley. As well, look at the West Pacific here. Atmospheric river of moisture heading towards Alaska, but it's going to be bringing up Typhoon Nayato straight and just missing japan actually but then that's all going to be heading towards alaska in the long range forecast big systems heading to alaska so watch for an uptick in seismicity as well we've got a pretty big low pressure system here hanging out over hawaii this week so watch for a lot of rain through and watch possible flood alerts through hawaii and western islands Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Australia. Daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you this week. But yeah, these daily evaporation rains are getting bigger and stronger. Watch for the same thing here to happen across South America. No major systems affecting you this week, except for coastal regions, Sao Paulo, and the border with Brazil. Overlooking Africa, no major changes coming this week. Watch for that low to head out of Cape Town. And a lot of coastal rain, and then that thing is going to be jetting straight south towards Antarctica. 
going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love to you all, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider leaving a like, maybe even sharing with your friends and family. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.